All right, in this video, we're gonna go over from start to finish how to set up a smart lead campaign. All right, so let me make myself a little small. You're gonna start on the smart lead dashboard and you're gonna to go to add campaign. All right, so you can name your campaign, whatever you like. If you have multiple campaigns, you're gonna to want to name it something memorable so you know what it is. So this campaign is for this client. You're going to upload your lead list. I generally always check this, and you're going to want to just leave these two unchecked because you obviously don't want to upload leads on blocked lists. And you also don't want to add an unsubscribe link to your email. You just want to tell people that they can unsubscribe. All right. Okay, save and next. Okay, so this is going to take a second, especially because this is about I think, 20,000 leads in this campaign. So we're going to pause. I'm going to pause this and I'll come back when it's done. All right, so the list just uploaded. And right, so now we're going to load in the emails. All right. Just like to make sure that that is there so that the first name comes. So these tags will obviously, yeah, this will add the first name. Uh, there's other variables that we'll go over in a second that I like to add to the email. So this part of the email, the reason why it looks like this is this will dynamically change this with each email. So it, it'll either send this first sentence or it'll send this sentence. So these are just, you know, sentences that say the same thing. But, you know, so that we're not sending the same email in, you know, the email, uh, email service provider's eyes. And then same thing here. So basically with these two variations to these two lines, we can send out a bunch of different emails. You know, they're the same, but they, they're, they look different. Uh, and then, honestly, I'll probably also do that here. And let me just show you what this looks like before I finish the rest. I'm just going to put dummy info in here right now so I can show what this looks like. All right, so this is one email, looks like this, and the next email will look different, right? So each one will have something slightly different at the bottom, et cetera. All right, so let's go back to it. <clears throat> okay, so then the subject line, generally, just leave in the subject line with something, hey, name, question, uh, question for name, et cetera. You know, people talk about, you want to switch the subject line to something other than that, but quick question, et cetera. I got a question for you. It works. It's 70% plus open rates. Uh, so let's just go. All right, so you can go with that. And then let's add the next step to the email. So when you add another email to the step, you want to leave the subject line blank. As it says here, leave the subject line empty if you'd like this email to be a reply, basically the same thread. So if you don't, if you add a subject line here, 
then this will send a new email with a totally new thread. Actually, let me pause the video and find an example so I can show you what this will look like if you do it the wrong way. All right, so this is what it looks like if, you know, when this is actually somebody sending me this email that doesn't know what they're doing, uh, but they're sending a bunch of different emails instead of just having the email be bumped up in the same thread. And this right here, this is how and why people will often mark, you know, your emails as spam because you're doing, you know, shit like this. All right, so let's go back into it. All right, so, this, so the next email, <clears throat> I'm just going to add it in. Okay, and so something that I like to do, especially in the second email, so that this seems more personal. Uh, as you see, I have good, hope you're having a good day slash day uh, slash time of day, right? So in Smartly, they allow you to add that in as a variable. So I hope you're having a good day of the week and then uh, time of the day. So basically, like right now, this is Thursday, you know, Thursday evening. So that's what it will say. It'll say Thursday evening. But if this email was sent to the prospect at, you know, in the morning time, it would say, hope you're having a good Thursday morning, right? Uh, so I like to add that in here just because it adds a bit of personalization. People, you know, people think, oh, maybe they actually did just write this right now instead of, you know, knowing that it's a bot. Uh, so I hope you're having a good Thursday evening so far. I'm just going to add that. And then now, you know, the rest of your, your second email goes here. I generally will have it wait at least two days before sending the next email. All right. And then we're going to add one more. So then that'll be another two days. So all three emails are in. All of the, sub of the second two subject lines are going to be left blank. All right, so let's go to the next section. Okay, so since I already have this info, it skipped it. But this was the next section. So then you're going to add in your email accounts. So I'm going to add in my accounts. So I'm going to add all these. It says in use, but they're not. Uh, so save, save email accounts. All right, so that's 40, 40 accounts. So with 40 accounts, you can send, uh, you know, just to be on the safe side, we say 30 emails per day per account. So that'll be 1,200 emails per day. So we'll start tomorrow. So that's good. We'll start tomorrow. Let's change the time zone. Generally, you want to keep this to at least, uh, you know, at least 17. Um, we're going to keep it at. We also like to send emails on Saturdays as well. Uh, you, you don't, you don't have to. That's what we do. So let's go. Let's save that. So this campaign is set to start tomorrow. 1,200 leads. Next. All right. Now let's save this. Okay, so very, very important is you want to, you definitely want to always just look at the emails to make sure everything's good, make sure you didn't leave anything out, uh, make sure, you, you know, if you're using any of the syntax that this is correct, and then you want to send a test email to yourself. Just 
check that out. One sec. All right, so this is what the test email looks like. So this is all good. Uh, we should have a profile picture here. All right, so we go back. All right, so this is very important at the end. You want to go here to campaign settings before you start the campaign. What we always do is we do not track email opens anymore. It's just we personally don't do it. Uh, you can if you want to. It comes to prioritize sending. I like to turn this to 30%. So it'll basically keep sending. It'll just keep sending out to new leads instead of only following up with old leads. Uh, if you leave it here, you know, it'll follow up with old leads, let's say for an entire day instead of reaching out to new people that day. All right. So then here you have company level auto pause. So auto pause if one of the leads from the same domain replies. So if you're messaging a bunch of people at the same company, this is a good thing to have on so you don't start, you know, bothering people, uh, you know, but you don't always have to have it on just because sometimes we've seen some people at the, at the company might say no while somebody else says yes. So this is, you know, this is on you. All right. And then this as well, sometimes we use it, sometimes we don't. It'll auto categorize the lead based off, you know, chat GPT will basically read the email. Um, Right now, I like to keep this off. So from there, we can save these settings. And we can start the campaign, schedule a campaign. All right, so there we go. From start to finish, uh, we got the campaign going. And this will this is set to start, as it says, tomorrow at 9 AM. So all right, I hope you found this video useful. See you in the next one.